welcome back guys in this video we are going to start working on this we're going to convert this template so i have this website cli vjs and there if we go to installation we get that npm uh, install we can install this way so i'm going to open the terminal here let me make it a little bigger so that you guys can see it easily now in mac we i have uh, ZAMP install for the local server so I'm going to let me go there in the htdocs folder because there we are going to have our project I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to run it in here so we are setting up the VG, uh, VGS right now so right now it's going to install all the dependencies those are required uh, it'll take a while depending on your internet speed and uh, once it is done we can continue uh, see the next step so it is completed now to create a project we have a command uh, we create hello world it says here but uh, you can have anything uh, stand of hello world depending on what project name you want for your project let's say we are trying here a sample project so I say sample and I hit create we are going to go with the default method now it's going to create the project for us now simply go into XAMPP ST docs we should have a simple project here you can see that it is working on it right now so our project is installed you can see they see a CD sample to go uh, cd stands for chain directory we are going to go into the sample now here we need to say npm run serve it is going to start the development environment the server so it is uh, doing that it's going to give us a link which is here i'm going to copy this and going to put it into our browser now we have our project now I'm going to use Visual Studio Code uh, for our code editor. Now you can choose whichever you would like. This one is free and it is good. So I advise that you should have this one. So I'm going to open the folder for our project, which is here. Uh, sample, seven items in it. And we have our file so set up public folder and source and components. Now app dot view is the parent component we have and all the other components will go here so if you are you're not getting what exactly I'm saying here I just want to tell you that uh, if you do not have the understanding with the basic concepts of Vue.js it might get a little complicated but you need to go along to understand it we have a parent component outside we can pass values from this component to the child components inside components folder and uh, using props so initially right now our target is to convert this template to a view app so to do that what we need to do we need to download this one so I go back here and I download this okay our project is installed and now it's set up now I have this ready so if I go inside it we have these files we have asset folder we have index.php which is mainly going to if I open it with uh, a browser so this is it is how it is looking presently so what we need to do we need to copy this assets folder straight away the way it is uh, to our project so our project is sample I go inside it then go to public and here I paste it okay now 
we have it we just need this code inside uh, in our code editor I take I open the file here now in the code editor here we have our view folder so in public folder I just added the asset folders for all the files which is required for that template that we are going to convert now we have an index.html now index.html is having an ID of app so anything components display will come in this app because it is uh, defined here the app app ID so it's going to come inside it so we can use uh, this file to make our things working so we know that we have uh, our files under assets folder which is under public so let's get started and uh, add these files so I have here sublime and we have the header going like this for this template so if we see uh, if we go here we need the nav bar on every page so we can do this that uh, we can cut the body starting and everything on the top of it from here to this file from body start to here and I'm gonna paste that save that we are going to correct this uh, in a moment but presently I just want to put the code so that we can get started now the rest code is here for the index.html we are going to go at the bottom for the footer part of it so we have footer here I just want to cut this footer as well and I want to go back to index.html and here in body we have here so we are going to paste this code here so you're getting the idea we have header and the footer place here header code and footer code and in the middle we have this ID of app so we are going to put components and those components are going to display the content right here so in presently we have hello world component which is showing up so what do I do I go and get all this content presently which is our leftover for the index.php and I gonna put it inside here now make sure yeah we have the template there should be div because we cannot have more than one div inside template otherwise it will give us problem so we put code this way it goes inside div let me indent it a little, a little. So, okay so if we go back and see our uh, this is view app a refresh You can see things have started to work here uh, not completely we have some things to deal with so I go back to code editor and in the in uh, app.view file we are getting this image for the logo and here is our component coming now the component have have the code that we just pasted so what we need to do we need to remove some of the code that is previously added in this component which is here the style CSS it was here before we don't want that we don't want props we can save it here we don't need this image we can remove that and uh, if I go back so it should be a lot better now we need to see why the CSS is break broken so we need to go into HTML and leave on the top so we are getting in assets these are all off files are coming here so in the next video we are going to correct the design here and going to get all the images so that uh, we can get going from here so have a nice day do subscribe this channel and goodbye